Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to... Oh, wait a minute. What time is it? Well, it's afternoon, but I just got up. So, hey, it's morning to me. And anyway, I'm saying good morning anyway to all of you everywhere, wherever you are, wherever you are, hold up in your house. Like we are on house arrest. I think that's what it is. We're on house arrest. I'm going to work in my alone together, um, my alone together journal that I have been working on. I think this will be phase eight, although I kind of work on it in between too. But I learned something this morning by watching Pam at the Paper Outpost. If you have never watched Pam at the Paper Outpost, you need to scoot your little butts right on over and um, and see her. She is amazing. She comes up with the most amazing things and I have learned so much from her. And so I want to show you what I learned from her today. I took mine a little bit different than hers. But I'm going to make these. I want to make some of these. Um, for one thing, I want to make like one to go in each one of my um, my um, cigar box kits that I make. And um, But I'm going to make some of these to go into uh, my... I'm going to put some in my journal. But And I took mine a little bit differently than hers, but that's, I think, how we all do is we we um, we do, each one of us kind of do our own thing. When we see somebody else do something, we usually don't just copy it. We usually come up with another idea, you know, say, okay, I'm going to do that, but I'll do mine a little bit differently. And so and it, and then it kind of makes your own. But yes, I got the original idea, and she calls it a butterfly because this is shaped like a butterfly and a, a butterfly embellishment, like a belly band. So I'm going to show you how she showed us to do that. She took one envelope like this. And see, you need the envelopes with the pointy end here. I, when I went to look, I figured, oh, good, I got a jillion envelopes. I can do that. And I went to look for one with a pointy end. Most of them have a just a straight end. Well, that isn't going to work. Well, it would work. You could make it work. But the one with the pointy ends is better. And so these were some, well, first of all, you have to glue them shut, which mine's already kind of glued shut just because of the age. And so, but anyway, so what, what this is, and of course your decorating, get decorating can be all differently. Now watch hers too, so you can see how she did it. Now she did her decorating after she cut it. But I'm doing mine like first. And so first I am just going to ink the whole thing just to give it some color here. And um, and so I'm just inking the whole entire shooting match right there. Okay. There we go. And that kind of inks, inks the edge. I, I, I think I'm saying the praises of these little brushes that you get at the at the um, Home Depot or whatever you call it, Lowe's or something, hardware store, because they're for painting. I love them. I can take this, bring it to the kitchen sink, wash them out. I have used them over and over and over. Okay, so there I went, and I um I just inked that envelope there. Now what I'm gonna do? These things here I've had for 99 years, and um. I got them from Stampin' Up way back when I used to buy stuff. I don't buy stuff anymore. But um, I don't know if they even still sell them. I just really don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this to kind of... I got different wheels, you know. They come with different wheels. So I don't use it that often. So I thought, well, I'm going to use it on this. So see there, I got that now kind of... Um, let me see. Maybe I should bring you a little closer in. Yeah, there you go. So you can see I, I kind of, it's almost like a tree, like a tree brand, tree trunk kind of a thing. I've used this with paint and everything, so it kind of really is a mess. All right. So anyhow, and then I want to, um, then I'm going to take my Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. I did that. I first inked it with... Um, Spiced Marmalade Distress. That's what I inked first. I, I, I love using that orange. And then 
I have. Then I'm going to go over and I'm going to just stamp it here and there and everywhere. I guess I could put this on a stamping block, but apparently I didn't do that. Okay, and so I just got to get that going everywhere like that way. That's good. Okay, and that, oh, and then I have, um, let's see, I have this as a, like a little splotch. You know, I think I want to get a different color. Let me splotch it with this one. What's this? Picked raspberry. I'm going to use picked raspberry and I'm going to put blotches on there. I like them blotches. Somebody's been murdered. Not really. I'm just kidding about that murder thing. But I'm going to um, just put some blotches. So it really, you don't have to be any particular or anything when you do this. Okay, so there I did that with the raspberry. That's pretty, isn't it? And then, okay, now Pam took pinking shears with hers. And she um, cut with pinking shears. But now she used just these lines that you see. Use those lines as your guide where the um, where the the envelope is built together. Now, if you have an envelope maker, an envelope punch board, or whatever you call them things, then that's good too. You can make whatever size envelope you want, and they come with this um, style. You know, you make the style, and so. Now, see, I it did all my coloring first because that's what I did different. She cut hers first, and then she did the de decoration on it. Well, I did mine here because I want, because see how I made the mother and the baby? I She didn't make the baby with it. Her, her mother hasn't had any children, and so mine did have a child. So there she is. So, so that's why I inked the whole thing first. Then I want to go in here with my glue. Okay, oh, I gotta fill this thing up again. Just a minute, let me get this. Oh, I got another one here that's almost. Let me see. I gotta fill them up. Fill them up, fill them up. Oh, good grief, I went to go put my. Oh, it's not a pin in there, it was just glue. Okay. So I'm gonna glue that together, glue these little pieces here together. Just putting glue in between because see where the envelope is, is, um, yeah, that, that what I just said. Okay, so see there? And then these two, I'm going to glue them together as well because that's going to go for the baby. The baby has to be glued together. Yeah, the little child, the little child. And so I'll glue that together. And then I'm going to put some glue here and then just put that piece on there, right there. Okay. So there those two are. Now, um, also I think I like, don't really like the pointed things. So I just kind of cut, just round that a little bit. This one is already kind of rounded, see. And so I'm going to just kind of round this a little bit like that. Okay. Now, so I got my two butterflies. Um, and then now here she put a piece, she put um, actually some seam binding around here, this part. And I'm just using my purple tape because I like purple. This gives me a lot of color. We need a lot of color now in our own alone together days to um, cheer us up. We need cheered up. So I am, okay, I didn't get that centered real good. Let me try and center that and then go up here. And then this, see, I just use washi tape. Or it's some kind of tape. It's not really washy. Expression, scotch, something. And, um, of course, happy mail. I swear I'm the most spoiled person in the face of this earth, but I don't mind. I don't mind being spoiled. I missed that when I was growing up. I wasn't a spoiled child. 
but now I am spoiled, so I'm making up for all them days. But um, now I will. Um, so now both mother and child match. I remember when I used to make dresses, um, Easter dresses, especially for my girls and myself, and we always, I always um, liked them to match. Okay, so there. Oh, I need. I didn't. Um, I didn't go and ink the edges of these. I think I want to in ink them a little bit more on the edges here. It's never too late to do that. And so we'll do that. I should be. I I got so much to do, and I shouldn't be playing right now. But I got my mailings that I got to get mailed out. And um, that's what I should be doing right now, but I'm not. I'm doing this, but this won't take long. I need to do, I need to work in my Alone Together journal because i got to keep that up during my, okay, during our lockdown house arrest. So now, see, I, um, how this one is, I have it put on a backer piece. You can actually take this right here, glue it on the edges, and put it right down on your junk journal page, just like it is. But what I'm going to do is, because I have this, I've had this here pad of paper like for 152 years, and so, but I'm going to take and... Let's see. I'm going to use this. This is all fun paper in here because it was a birthday extravaganza at originally. So it had some really pretty pages in there. And so I'm going to take these for the background. And then I'm going to take... And, you know, and, and it's a junk journal. So it's a junk journal. We don't mind if things don't match. Okay, then I'll use them for the tags. Okay, see now this fits right on here. Do I want it on that one or do I want it on this one? I want it on this one. Okay, so we're going to put it on this one. This just so happens to be the same um, width as the envelope, which is perfect. Okay, that's perfect. So first I want to round these corners just a little bit. I like round corners a lot of times rather than pointy stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not always like into pointy stuff. So I'm going to just take that and I'm going to put it on here and then I will just glue just along the very edge. Just along the very edge. Now that we're all on edge, we're all on edge due to this house arrest thing. Might as well call it what it is. We're all on house arrest. But, oh, I hope people are taking that serious, you know, and staying home because don't be spreading this stuff around. Golly, Jiminy Christmas, don't be spreading it around. Okay, so now this piece, this piece, I'm just going to, um, this butterfly, I have to cut that now. So I'll cut that. Where did I put it? Oh, there it I can't hardly turn my body anymore. I'm old and crotchety. Do you notice that I'm getting crotchetier in my old age? I am. I am getting crotchetier. I'm getting more crotchety -ous. Okay, so I'm going to put this, this one on here. Now this one, when I glued it together, I didn't do it intentionally, but I it, it didn't glue real straight. It kind of almost looks more like a butterfly. So I like that. So you don't have to be perfect on nothing. And I glue this very edge here. Like this way.
like that. See now you could even go further. Like what Pam did is she used some um, liquid pearls and she decorated even with some liquid pearls. So she went even further, you know, so, but this is, oh, I forgot to run my corners. This is um, just the way it came to my mind when I was copying her idea and her link to her video is actually below this video you're watching. So you can go to her video and see where I got all of this inspiration. And once I get some inspiration from someone, it's like I got to do it right away. It's like I'm just ready. I'm ready to rumble. Okay, so I'm going to use this for the tag. And as you can see, it's not, I think I'm going to make that three and a half inches wide. And I'll use that for the tag of the big one. Never throw these papers away because you'll use them in a junk journal somewhere. And then I'm going to, you know what I think I want to do is I want to use my, my tag maker punch. I'm going to put that in there. Get that centered right in there. And I'll do it this way. Okay. Okay. And then that's bigger than what the what the um, law allows. So I'm going to just cut these ends off right here. And, um, but that makes a really nice, um, tag top. And, well, actually I want that round too. So I'll just round that. Like that. That looks much better. Okay, now, so then, and then I will use my corner rounder. See, I couldn't use a corner rounder up. Well, maybe I could have, but no, I don't think it would have fit in there. There we go. And so then that's a little rounded there. And so then that tag will go right in here. And so then, see, it's not, it's not like I'll, look color coordinated or whatever it's not but what we want is color now we want something just to pop um look you could even put like a little flower in the middle here anything you can go further with this now here i want to have this tag to be make sure it fits in there so i'm going to well I'll just cut this piece right in half and two right half and two is what i'm going to do here and um Let's see, it's six and a half, so I'll go at three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. And then that's cut in half. And so then I'm going to make sure it's going to fit in there. Yep, it's going to fit in there. And so I'm going to do the same way with my punch. I love this punch. Well, I'm glad I got this punch because I love it. I think it's great. Okay, and here we go. Just center it in there and um, put my punch back up there, right there, so I don't lose it because I lose things. But I'm trying to get a little bit more organized lately so I don't lose things. And so here I'll just round them corners like this. All right, and so then there is my that's my tag for the baby butterfly. And on here, I don't have to ink or anything because it's all a, already a color that does not need to be inked. Let's see. Do I have any string in here or ribbon? Um, I don't think I do. Um, so, oh, you know what I have? I have this little piece of fabric. It's, look at this fabric. It's cigars. If that isn't the funniest thing. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to cut this little edge off of here and see if that will tear. No, I'm on the, um, that won't tear that way because I'm right on the savage, salvage end. I won't cut, tear there. So I'm going to go this way. That's not going to tear. Why, Elizabeth? Why, Elizabeth? Let me try this again if I cut it down a little different if I go like this way 
trying to make me a ribbon. There we go. There, that time it did just fine. Okay. And so let me fold this up. Now again, put that right up here. Okay, and so then I'm going to just cut this off here. It's white on the back because that's white that was on the salvage. So you know what I'm going to do? I want it to be a little, I don't want it to be real white. And see if this is working. Yeah, that darkened it up. See, that darkened it up some. Cat squeak like chalk on a chalkboard. Not good. Most people don't know about that squeak because most people are young. But we who had blackboards and chalk, we know about that squeaking. Okay, so yeah, that darkened that back up some, so it's not so so stark white, because we don't want white, we don't want white. White is good sometimes, but not always, not in my, not in my life right now. Right now I need color. Brown is a color. So there we go, and I put that in here to make a little tie, and that will go just like that, my cigar fabric. Let's put that in there. And we don't have to worry so much about things matching or or anything because when you're making a junk journal just nothing has to match. Nothing has to have a reason. Nothing has to have a reason. The only reason I'm doing my alone together journal is because we are alone in our homes but we're together in our hearts. So there, now that just made those two tags, mother and daughter. Okay, now I'm going to get my book back up here. I'll find a page that I want these to go on. Let's see if I can, yeah, see I had a cup of coffee and spilled a whole flipping thing all over everything on my desk. That was not good. Okay, so let's see. I've got pages that. You know, some pages that I just kind of haven't really done anything with. I just kind of done a little with, and I just keep going. And, um, oh, I got some pieces in there that I'm going to glue. But I haven't done that yet. And... I wonder if I want to, I wonder if I just want to put them in here like this. I think I do. Now, I think I do want to put them in there like this. I think that would be a good page just to, yeah, I am going to do that. No, this way, this way, like this. That is what I'm going to do. So then I just glue the back. I just put glue on the back. So actually, after I glued that, I just thought, you know, if you didn't glue the whole thing and you just glued the edge, then you'd have another pocket in the back. I just thought of that after I glued it. So I got that in there. And then the, the daughter, and that one I will. I'll just glue. This way. Okay. Overlaps a little bit on this one. That's okay. I just don't want this verse to be um, covered up. So then that's right good there. And then you've got that back to write on. Got that back to write on. I got this little bit here of just white paper. I'm going to take my rolly thing again and I'm going to just put 
put these same lines on that edge. Just put them on that edge and then, oh, then I want to take my brush and I'm going to just take that brush and I'm going to ink them edges. And see, I got ink on that page there too, the next page, because it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. This is a junk journal. It's junky. It's got all kind of junk in it. Just things that take no worry. And there we go. That's what we do. That's what we do. Now I think I've made myself feel better. Um, I got rid of my... Well, not that I felt bad. I shouldn't say that because I don't feel bad at all. And, um, and um, I'm going to... Let's see if I can put a couple of splotches over here to on here kind of match the here's where we all get an all match what I just told you not to worry about there we go see that's good and so yeah I like that okay that takes a little bit to try on that slick magazine page there but there I have those two butterfly belly bands that hold those tags and I can write my thoughts on the back of that tag and slide it right there in that butterfly. And I love these. I love these. I really love these. And so if you've got those types of envelopes, then you make them out of them envelopes. But you can. You don't have to really have the envelope. You can use um, paper or, you know, whatever you have. And like I use tape here. Pam used fabric. Um, it, you can use anything to put in the middle of the butterfly's body. You might even put some little feelers on there. Go a little further. You just don't know where you want to go with that. And so that's it. That's my page for today. So um, I try to work in here every day for 30 minutes. And I have done pretty good. Sometimes, like here, all I did was doodle. Um... I've done pretty good about sticking to my 30 minutes every day to work in. Oh, those pockets would go good on here, too. See how they would go good on there, too? I like having the two together, kind of like family-oriented. I'm going to go throw those in somebody's cigar box, though. So somebody's cigar box is going to get them. And, um, but, yeah, the book is... It, it's coming along. It's coming along. Isn't that pretty? I love them pages here. I might do a couple more pages like that. Uh, that piece of paper I found, I said, i got to use that somewhere in my book. I haven't figured out where. I love this page here. I love this page right here. So, all right. That's it for that little bit today. 28 minutes and 37 seconds. That was a 30 minute. I kept that to the, and that's my alone together, alone together journal that I'm making. It's a 12 by 12. Well, actually it's 11 and a half by 12. So, and I thank you, um, Carehart for that, the book part, because that actually came from, um, she sent me the book that was full of samples of really awesome wallpaper samples and um she asked me if i would cut tags out of them and send them back for her foundation and so i did that i cut all the tags sent them back to her for her foundation that she can use them in kits and then i got the cover to be able to do something with and that's what i'm doing with that cover and so i think that's awesome Excuse me. Okay, now here, I don't know. This one here is um it is in the angel, I mean not angel, anger category. So I'm gonna read what they what they have to say. It says anger is a defense mechanism. And this comes out of the Heart Thoughts, a treasury of inner wisdom by by Louise Hay. Okay, every time you get angry, 
you're affirming that you want more anger in your life. Do you ever look at it that way? That's amazing. Anger is a normal and natural process. Usually you get angry about the same things over and over again. When you're angry, you feel that you don't have a right to express it, so you swallow it down. Swallowed anger tends to lodge in your in your favored part of the body and it manifests itself through dis-ease. For years and years, you keep packing your anger into that same place. So in order to heal, let your true feelings out. If you cannot express them to the person directly involved, go to a mirror and talk to that person. Express everything. I'm angry at you. I'm frightened. I'm upset. You hurt me. Just go on and on until all the anger is released. Then take a deep breath, look in the mirror and ask, what is the pattern that created this? What can I do to make change? If I can change the belief system inside that is creating this behavior, then you will not need to do it anymore. That's very interesting. And I think we probably all do that. We probably all um, do bottle up anger. Sometimes we get angry about something, and, but we're not the type to show anger. And so we, we still get angry and we um, bottle it up and we let it build and we let it build and we let it build. And that is so not good. Looking in the mirror and... Um, letting it out just talk to yourself and that is very good advice I think all right so anyhow that's my reading for today and um I ask God to watch over you every step you take every move you make and I will see you on the next video oh and by the way if you're interested in this book which I look in this book all the time this is just awesome I have it in my favorite thought and my favorite thoughts, my favorite things on my Amazon site, as a few of you has asked about this book. And it's having something like this is very helpful. I really love Louise Hay and everything she has written. Okay, God bless you all. Stay safe and stay happy at home. God bless. <laughs>